Duchess Kate. Pictures of her baby bump and all on display on a tropical vacation have been published and the royals are not happy about it. Mm. We should say that ABC News has decided not to show the photos and ABC's Lama Hassan has the story. Hitting the newsstands this morning, Italian gossip magazine Key with new pictures of a bikini-clad royal duchess and mama-to-be, a tiny baby bump on show. Everybody is entitled to privacy, but it's just different when you're a member of the royal family. They all crave normality. They want to be just like everybody else, but they're not just like everybody else. The pictures are from a Caribbean getaway, an island famed for its privacy and security. But when it comes to the royal couple, hey, hey. it seems there is no such thing hey, as privacy for the soon-to-be parents. The palace is up in arms, saying it's a clear breach of the couple's right to privacy. Last summer, when a French magazine published photos of a topless Kate sunbathing in a private home in France, the royal couple sued the publication, warning British tabloids that more lawsuits could follow. And so the British media has decided not to publish the new pictures. Photographs of the Duchess of Cambridge. An Italian magazine goes on But boy, sale are they making their voices heard. Kate's horror, baby bump snap, screamed one newspaper. Fresh anguish for pregnant Kate blared another. Today, an Australian magazine says it will show the pictures of what the editor says are celebrating Kate looking so healthy and glowing. Kate's on a public beach. There are other holiday makers there and she looks fabulous. Any photos of these new modern royals are big bucks. A court order might never, ever stop the prying eyes of the paparazzi. For Good Morning America, Lama Hassan, ABC News, London. Here to discuss the Royals' right to privacy is People Magazine's managing editor, Larry Hackett. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. Thank you so much for being Here with us. Here we are again. Here we are. And what do you know? The cover of your magazine is the beautiful Robin Roberts. We are thrilled. It, we are thrilled. I mean, looking so radiant. I'm lucky to be alive. We're lucky to have her back in one week. Well, it's a great story. We were very excited to do this. Um, the interview is terrific. She talks very openly and candidly about the, the struggle. It was a tough, tough fight. Robin, as you all know here, is always very kind of forward and, 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 and really thinking tough and always like, you know, very positive. And she remains so. But right. there were moments there that were tough. And she talks about them very candidly. And it's a very moving story. And, and the difference between your interview with Robin was that she was very much involved in it. Whereas the pictures that we're talking about with the royals, they were on nah. a deserted island, a, a totally secluded island and yet a long lens was able to capture the duchess yeah here's the thing i mean for women out there not all pregnancies are created equal we all know that so people are interested in her more than they're interested in other people on the other hand you got to make a judgment call i saw these photographs on monday they tried to sell these pictures to people magazine and we turned them down i mean there's something there's nothing necessarily illegal about it perhaps but you look at them and you say you know what our readers I'm sure would want to see this but for us as people magazine this is bad for the brand people are going to say ultimately leave her alone right you know for another magazine I'm not going to cast judgment on their decision. Um, they decide to do it. For someone like us and for a big news organization like ABC, you stay away it's from them. You're it. tempted to do it, but you just say, you know what? Their average person is going to say, leave her alone. This is an invasion of privacy. So you think the public reaction will be mostly negative to this? I think so. Listen, there's a big difference between what you can do and what you should do. Yes, you can print them, but should you? It's all up to the, the person, and we decided not to do it. So could, could, could the royal family take legal action here? Well, they did in France in the summertime with the topless photographs. It's possible. I don't know the law at this island. Um, it's a place they've been to a lot. I mean, they've been there seven times, so some might say they should have known better. I think the fact that it's not topless and it's not... It's just a different kind of, you know, grade of picture than uh, the yeah, last one. Yeah, where ones. do these two need to go? They were on a, a secluded island uh, trying to have some private time. Uh, I agree. But, you know, there's a certain point where you say just because you can make a picture of them and you do have a lens that can shoot over a mile doesn't mean you, can necessarily, you should necessarily run the photograph. Right. Again, I think reasonable people will say, wow, that just seems really invasive. All right. So. We thank you for your opinion, as Absolutely. always, and that beautiful cover story on our Robin Roberts. My pleasure. People Magazine's Larry Hackett, everybody. Thanks so much.